This is what it's like looking for dinosaur bones. So, start the base, which is why I'm out here in this channel, because in theory, if something's eroded, it's tumbled down, possibly even rolled down the stream. So, I am carefully walking the, the stream itself, hoping to find something that will then trace back up. This is the base of the stream. You can see the roots of the grass. And you work your way down. You see all kinds of interesting chunks extracted. Then, as you zoom in, you see that. That's what that is. Apologies for the audio. The wind is 20 to 30 miles an hour. The clouds are not blowing in the sun. Dressed in long sleeves, hats, trying to keep the sun off. But this is the terrain. Grasses, scrub brush. You could be out here in shorts, but there's some sharp things out here too, like the cactus. You can see with your vision. had no bone in it, had lots of concretion, and a lot of gypsum. Gypsum initially can look like bone from afar, but it is not bone. So that's what it looks like. last night that made changes from the night before where they were looking at the turtle. And some of the turtle pieces were exposed. It's pretty cool. It always makes you wonder what lives in these holes. Big hole in the ground. So my shadow is pointing at a tiny cactus and there's another one right there. So easy to miss if you're not staring at the ground.